there are several reasons for this to be relevant. Um, <clears throat> you know, first you can think of this kind of at the level of just a, a thought experiment, right? So in the, in the, in the book, I write about the Greek God Tithonus and how he wished for immortality. So I, I think just sort of theoretically, I think anybody who thinks about it for long enough would realize that any desire to live longer has to be accompanied by a desire to preserve health span. So I believe that anybody who thinks they want to live to be 200, implicit within that, I hope, is the desire to function as someone who is much younger, right? If, I, if, 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 if a person says to me, I want to live to be 95, well, I'm assuming, and if not, we'll tease this out, I'm assuming they don't want to look like most 95-year-olds, right? What I assume is I want to live to be 95, but I would hope that in the final years of my life, I function like a 75 year old, right? A healthy 75 year old. So, 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 so that's why I think the second thing here is, and the reason, at least for me, that health span is such an important focus. And we're going to talk, I'm sure about medicine 2.0 versus medicine 3.0, but one of the most important concepts within medicine 3.0 is an equal obsession with health span as lifespan.